top of the morning uh we're back um, with another video i'm gonna show you guys how to uh assemble and change out the uh, oil pump gear to a toda billet one um i like to use these uh for some reason i didn't use it on this one and before it got eaten up i would like to uh get that figured out so um Right now, basically, I'm just going to go ahead and clean all the surface, prep it for um, paint, and then I'll go ahead and assemble. One thing when you're assembling these brakes rotor style screws, um, please use a hammer screwdriver, uh, which turns when you hit the top of it, um, so you don't strip them out. We are using new screws, new everything, and I'm also going to put a uh, upgraded um, spring in which gives it about uh, 95 psi uh, to the oil pump so um, I'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that what its function does to my best ability and then we'll go from there so right now I'm just gonna clean this up and prep it up real quick and then uh, get it ready to paint and then we'll get it on Got this thing all painted um, one thing that I do do is leave the old seal in there so I could just pop that out and then I don't have to tape that off um, I did tape off everything else um, past that we're ready to rock so basically let's show you a couple things this is the spring uh, this is the piston okay so the spring goes inside of there this slides inside of here and then an allen bolt uh, there covers and closes it up um, so basically what happens inside of here is okay so what happens inside of here basically you have your oil pickup which comes in here okay now this creates pressure this is obviously on the crank notches as the crank turns it creates pressure builds it up and puts it up into here now it goes into there now if you don't have a regulator here and it's just closed this thing will just keep building psi so what that does is basically regulate with this piston um, how much oil it's getting. Once it gets to a certain amount of pressure, it opens and then it bypasses back into here, letting it pick back up, okay? So, one of two things, um, if you take a stock spring and uh, just shim it, this is how we used to do it back in the days, you just add a couple of these washers. These washers sit um, pretty perfect like that. You get them inside of here and then it creates more spring pressure so you can uh, raise the psi on the oil pump now like uh, acl a bunch of different oil pumps you can find these on mcmaster car um i'll see if i could drop the link in there basically it's a five more pounds uh, pressure spring which i tested um, in a spring compressor so you can even see the difference there in the thickness of the coil um, yeah, it does seem a little shorter, but it has more tension versus this one's more like bungee. So um, in the older days, like I said, we would just shim them before we, I knew about these type of springs and then you can create more pressure, get up to 90 PSI. So there's a lot of mixed information. These pumps are technically all the same pumps for B-Series. Um, the only difference is, as I mentioned in another video, is OBD2 and OBD1. So OBD2 uses an 80 millimeter gear and the ABD, OBD1 uses an 84 millimeter gear. Still has the same amount of pressure or whatnot, so it doesn't matter if you put a P72 pump or whatever pump you think you're putting on there, they're all the same. Um, so this thing right here is what's known for braking, either here or here, especially on the ACL pumps. I don't know if just the material they're using is cheap. Um, I'm not knocking ACL, but what I am saying is that I've had way too many fail. So over ACL, I'll use the OEM one all fucking day long. And 
over that, we'll use the Toda Racing. Now, as you guys know, Toda Racing is meant to do some high RPMs, so they're meant to handle um, the higher, you know, RPM spinning and load. So these are made out of forged billet. Uh, they come in this fancy Japan paper, okay? And it's no different from this one. It looks the exact same. Uh, let's see if we could throw these. Um... So what we'll do here is throw this on the scale. Where are we holding? Um, okay, so this thing only reads like 105 grams. So I guess we'll measure uh, this gear is 98.51 grams. Okay, and then this one is 101.49. Um, this one is overloaded. So it's obviously more than 105 grams. And this one is overloaded as well. So it's obviously more than 105 grams. So I don't know the comparison of the weight comparison between the two, but you could definitely feel the two, um, just big time difference. So these were able, able to handle a little bit more RPMs, uh, upwards of 10, 12,000, you know, some of these race guys are seeing, and this is what they're using. Speed Factory uses this on their car. Um, I've used these previous to that and, uh, I like them. So past that, the only thing that can really fail on an oil pump is this gear. Um, it'll either, like I said, spin this and just shatter it. Like it'll look like a spun bearing or uh, break one of these teeth here. Okay. Okay. So I've got the new seal in. I hope I, okay. So I got both gears lubed up. Pretty heavenly good. Drop the first one in from the Toda kit. Make sure that spins good. And we'll put the inner gear, which goes in the inside, rides on the crank. Okay, so that's good. We'll put our cover on. Okay, and we'll use our brand new hardware, which are just brake rotor uh, bolts. Um, so, not much to that, but to do it, these are uh, number three Phillips, so don't try to use anything else. You will strip them. Okay. So, let's do a walk over this one more time while we're here. Oil comes up through the pickup fills this up with suction that this is creating, okay? It comes up, goes into here. When this fills up with so much pressure, this spring releases the pressure via this piston, drops it back into the return, and repeats the cycle. So, in a sense, like I said, the only really thing that can go wrong on an oil pump is this gear. Um, so, this Toda gear is a little on the expensive side, um, more than I would, you know, like it to be. Um, I don't know the torque specs on this, but I'll look that up and then add that maybe on a little pop-up. Um, but yeah, it's worth it, man, for sure. Speed Factory, like I said, uses them. Some of the fastest guys in the world use them. Anyone that's revving above 9,000 is using them. Um, so yeah, we got the new seal in, which is part number right there, okay. So this is about ready. Now what we're gonna do is add the piston um, and spring, and I am gonna shim it on top of that. So uh, this is the bottom. I wanna use these newer style ones. Spring, shim, piston, and the bottom, okay? So this goes in here like so. It's a little hard to push in, so uh, you do gotta put some pressure on it to get it started. Once you get it started, she's good to go. Okay, I look up the torque specs on all this. I don't think this stuff's serviceable, so we just gotta make up our own torque specs, I think. I'm, I'll look them up, but I don't think there's there it's an option. Okay, and you have your cap up here, which has factory Honda Bond, I mean Loctite, red Loctite from factory. Um, so one good way to know if your pump's OEM is Yamada, obviously, um, and the red Loctite, a lot of the aftermarket pumps just use uh, nothing. So 
this one is actually a pretty bitch to get off. Okay, so I hit this with the hammer to come off, so it was pretty fucking tight. So I think that should do it. Okay, so we have a spring, leftover, bam, bam, all the leftover parts. Two extra, because I needed them for something else. Um, I'll go ahead and torque these up. I'll add the torque specs if I can find them. If not, oh well. But basically you have something better than an ACL pump. Uh, this is a TOTA pump now, and this should be good for about 95 PSI uh, direct. So we should be pretty good. That's on cold, obviously, and on watt. So um, we should definitely see some nice oil pressure on this. Um, this does spin nice and smooth, so super good. It's a little greasy, but it does spin nice and smooth. So should be good uh good to go man hope you guys learned something new in this video um i'll try to leave as many part numbers as i can in there this oil uh stud pan stud kit is just on amazon just m6 studs uh, and i'm using arp nuts for this my whole oil pan um pass that oem main seal um, I'll try to find the link on McMaster car for this spring uh, so you guys can get that and um, yeah the TOTA gear I'll give you guys the link for that as well or you guys can hit me up I'm a vendor for them so we can get that to you for a nice deal um, and uh, yeah that'll close her up man so like subscribe and share man hope you guys uh, have a blessed weekend stay safe 4th of July and I uh, hope this gives you something to do over the weekend on your downtime. And we're out, man.